Hello and welcome to a quick rundown of a tweak mod for the VRIK gesture system. If you don't know what that is, the VRIK gesture system is uh, something that allows you to perform swipe actions with your hand uh, in order to equip or cast shouts, powers and spells. It has a lot of other features as well, it can like emulate uh, key presses and stuff, but I won't go into that. What I've noticed, at least, in video content and such, is that most people use this system for magic, shouts, and powers. And that's what I use it for as well, mainly. So, um, the system works very well, as it is. Uh, I have no real complaints there. But, what's getting a bit cumbersome for me, personally, since I completely hate menus in VR, is the assignment phase. So when you're trying to put spells onto your gestures, casting them, uh, like using your gestures, that's all fine, but assigning new stuff to your gestures or switching the spells and powers that are assigned to them, that's pretty cumbersome. You need to use the MCM menu and it's a multi-step process to be able to do this. So I've made a little tweak mod that allows you to change your gestures easily without entering any menus or at least entering as few menus as possible. So let me show you how it's done. Basically, <clears throat> when you install the mod, you will get uh, a gesture assignment power in your menu. You can equip and use that, and it will explain how the system works um, for you. So you don't need to like watch this entire video and get all the information from here. You can just go into the game, activate this power, and it will tell you everything. But let me just go through it visually here so you see how it works. So basically what this will do is it will first uh, tell you to assign a gesture. One, one single gesture that you will be using to assign stuff. <clears throat> so the logic of the system is that you use your assignment gesture once to enter a new assignment phase. Then you assign all of the gestures that you want. You can assign one, you can assign 30, whatever you want. And then you end the assignment phase by uh, performing your assignment gesture again. All right, so let me show you how this works. First, I enter assignment mode by performing my gesture. Now you can see this blue swirly stuff that indicates that I am now in the assignment mode. Uh, if I now want to assign something, I just go over here into the normal uh, vanilla magic menu and I pick the spell that I want. <clears throat> so this is the menu use that still exists. To pick your actual spell that you want to assign, you still need to enter the normal vanilla like magic menu to do it. Th this is unavoidable, so this is still here. I will pick Firebolt, here we go, uh, and then I want to assign this to a push forward gesture. The hand that I have equipped it in, I now have it in the left hand, that it must be the same hand that I'm performing the gesture with. So if I want to assign something that should equip my right hand, then I should be performing the gestures with the right hand as well, to keep things logical. I'm going to be demoing this with my left hand because the button layout that I currently have encourages me to use uh, my left hand for gestures. Uh, on the right hand I have like menu actions and stuff that uh, conflict with the gesture system otherwise. So I've chosen to have them on the, on the left hand. Anyway, uh, let's do it. So I will perform a push forward gesture. The mod will then detect that this uh, that this hand was holding a spell, the spell, and it asks should this gesture that I just performed, should it cast the spell immediately, automatically, as uh, the RIK gestures are able to do, or should it equip the spell to that hand? I want this gesture to just cast the spell immediately, so I'll pick that. It says that Firebolt is now assigned, great, and then I can continue. So let's equip Blazing Spark. And this one I'm going to assign to a swipe right gesture. So I'll swipe right. And it asks the same question. This time I'm going to pick Equip. So for the Lightning Bolt I don't want it to cast. I want it to equip to my hand so I can aim it better. 
the sign. Very good. And then let's exit the sign mode. Swipe left gesture, right? That's my assignment gesture. That's how I enter and exit assignment mode. Uh, and now let's try it out. Uh, pushing forward. Casts Firebolt, just like we configured it. And if I equip something else in my hand, my sword here, and I do a swipe left gesture, um, like this, and there we go, lightning. If I have something in my other hand, uh, like my pickaxe, uh, <laughs> it will still work, like it won't interfere with the other hand, that's free to do whatever it wants. The gesture will only be equipping the hand uh, that you used when you assigned it. So yeah, this is working fine. Uh, however, the system also uh, allows you to assign shouts and powers, as I said at the start. So how do you do that? Well, you just clear the hand. So now I have nothing in the hand that I'm doing my gestures with. And then I can enter assignment mode and equip a shout or a power. I will pick bind here, bind from spell siphon. And I will perform a gesture. So uh, let's take swipe down. Right. Now it says no spell is held in the hand. So now it didn't detect the spell because there wasn't one. And it asks, should the ability in your power slot be assigned to this gesture instead? And yes, that's what we want. It then detects that this specific uh, thing was a shout or a talent. It wasn't a power, it was a shout or a talent. Talent is an ender all term <coughs> for shouts. Anyway, when you're assigning this type of thing, it will also ask how many words you want to use. Um, if you're familiar with shouts, you know what this question means. I'll pick one word here, uh, and it says assigned bind. Great, let's exit the assignment mode, and let's try out the gesture. There we go, spell siphon bind, summons bound weapons. Working great. And yeah, that's basically it, that's how the system works. Finally, I want to mention that uh, this system is completely un interchangeable with the VRIKMCM menu. So if you've assigned stuff via the power um, using this mod, you can still go into the MCM, the VRIKMCM, um, go to your gesture overview, and you will see the stuff that you assigned. So I assigned uh, casting the bind shout to down, if you remember. I assigned right to equipping Blazing Spark. Um, the left hand with equipping uh, Blazing Spark. And uh, I assigned moving my hand forward to casting Firebolt. All these bindings are seen here in the MCM. And you can, if you want to, select one of them, go to the config like you would normally in VRIK, Go here, select the new spell, and like switch this to casting flash heal instead. And that'll work as well. Now you see that moving my hand forward casts flash heal. So yeah, you can assign stuff in the MCM as well, uh, and then go back to assigning stuff with powers with the power again, and then go back here and switching stuff again. That's all up to you. Remember also that the gesture config menu has more options. So while the power can help you assign cast and equip actions, the MCM is also able to uh, assign stuff like cycles, uh, entire outfits, um, using consumables, emulating key presses, console commands, all of that stuff. So the MCM is more flexible, but for everyday stuff that I feel most people use a lot, which is the cast and equip of spells, shouts, and powers, the power is there for you. This gesture that I'm using all the time, the swipe left, this is something you will decide on yourself, if I didn't say that already. So you can set that on whatever you want, but you will have to reserve that gesture. One of your gestures will have to be reserved to this action if you want to be able to use the system in this way. If you absolutely want 
all of your gestures available and not have to sacrifice even one for the assignment gesture, then you can also use the gesture assignment power to activate the gesture assignment mode. It's an option, you can do that. Um, and like put this on something else, like the spell wheel or uh, a hotkey or something. That's, that's allowed as well. It works the same way. If I use the power manually, it will also enter assignment mode. If I use it again, it will exit assignment mode. So it's the, exactly the same thing. I just prefer having it on a gesture, uh, but it's up to you what you want to do. That's how this whole mod works. It includes some other uh, little tweaks to the gesture system as well, like preventing gestures from accidentally happening in menus. If you have a gesture on a button that you also use while traversing menus, then there is a risk that when you exit the menu, uh, things will happen. Because the gestures are registering when you're in the menu, so like when you exit, maybe like fireballs and stuff will fly out of your face that you accidentally did before. So the mod will now block those kinds of things. There's some other tweaks as well, and you can read about those on the mod page. So yeah, that's it for this mod. Uh, I hope you enjoy using it. Uh, if you've been, uh, if you've had the same pet peeves that I do with the assignment. Thing. I hope this makes your gameplay experience a bit more smooth, a bit more fluid. And I hope you have a good day.